Well, tonight, a Belmont woman is speaking out for the very first time after she and a Belmont police officer were accidentally shot inside her garage on New Year's Eve. She says this all happened while she was involved in a struggle with that officer. Today, she and her lawyer contacted Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Sheldon to explain their side of what happened that night. Lindsay. Scott, Melissa Verner says that Belmont police used too much force when they burst into her home with guns drawn on New Year's Eve. They came to grab me and turned me around and had one wrist behind my back. Like Melissa that. Verner says at first she didn't me. know the men were Belmont police officers. I was confused and scared and angry. Verner says she was swearing and yelling at them to get away. When they got to be about this close, I was so scared, I literally peed my pants. As embarrassing as that sounds. They struggled, and one of the officer's submachine guns discharged into the ground. She showed us the injuries from the shrapnel. Another officer was hit as well. It happened just after police cuffed her boyfriend, Brandon Watts, and her mother, Andrea no, Verner. No one ever told me what was going on. Police say it started when a man called them, saying a driver was tailgating him and believed he had fired a gun. Police tracked the car to the Verner's home. They say Melissa was belligerent and felt she was going to reach for one of their guns, which she denies. Watts didn't want to talk on camera, but told us he wasn't tailgating and had a firecracker, not a gun. I called the chief of police several times, but an officer at the station told me he was off and that they had no further comment. Attorney Adam Seifer says the Verners have no criminal history and police overreacted. You can't exceed. Uh exceed the force necessary. Now they want a public apology from the chief. Now no one has been arrested in this case and the officer who was hit is expected to recover. The SBI is investigating and the Belmont Police Department is also doing its own internal investigation, but they would not tell me today when that's expected to be finished. Reporting live in Belmont, I'm Lindsay Shelton, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.